Hello viewers, welcome to the next section, Estimating Projective Relations in Images. In this section, we will look at computing the fundamental matrix of an image pair. Then we will move on to matching images using random sample consensus, and then we will learn about computing a homography between two images. Finally, we will learn about detecting a planar target in images. Now we move on to the video, Computing the Fundamental Matrix of an Image Pair. In this video, we will explore the projective relationship that exists between two images that display the same scene. In this image, you can consider two pinhole cameras observing a given scene point. These two images could have been obtained by moving a camera to two different locations to take pictures from two viewpoints, or by using two cameras, each of them taking a different picture of the scene. When those two cameras are separated by a rigid baseline, we use the term stereo vision. The scene point that has its image at position X on the image plane can be located anywhere on this line in the 3D space. This implies that, if we want to find the corresponding point of a given image point in another image, we need to search along the projection of this line onto the second image plane. This imaginary line is called the epipolar line of point X. It defines a fundamental constraint that must satisfy two corresponding points. That is, the match of a given point must lie on the epipolar line of this point in the other view, and the exact orientation of this epipolar line depends on the respective position of the two cameras. In this mathematical representation, the relationship between an image point and its corresponding epipolar line can be expressed using a 3x3 matrix. In projective geometry, a 2D line is also represented by a 3 vector. It corresponds to the set of 2D points, which is x and y, that satisfy the equation L1x plus L2y plus L3 equals 0. Consequently, the matrix F, called the fundamental matrix, maps a 2D image point in one view to an epipolar line in the other view. In order to illustrate the fundamental matrix estimation process, we selected seven good matches from the matching result of SIFT features, as we saw in the previous section. These matches will be used to compute the fundamental matrix using the CV find fundamental mat open CV function. Now run the program in our console application to see the output. Cool, it seems like our program really works. Here you can see the image pair with its selected matches. These matches are stored in a CV dmatch vector pointing to indexes of CV keypoint instances. These keypoints first need to be converted into CV.2F in order to be used with CV find fundamental mat. An open CV function can be used to this end by using standard vector with keypoint convert values. This selected block of code is used to convert key points into point 2f. The two resulting vectors, cell points 1 and cell points 2, contain the corresponding point coordinates in the two images. The point indexes 1 and point indexes 2 vectors contain the indexes of the key points to be converted. In this selected code, we defined the call to the CV find fundamental mat function. This CV mat fundamental is used to compute F matrix from seven matches. Cell points 1 is used to add seven points in first image. Cell points 2 is used to add seven points in second image. CV FM 7 point is used to add seven point method. One way to visually verify the validity of the fundamental matrix is to draw the epipolar lines of some selected points. Another OpenCV function allows the epipolar lines of a given set of points to be computed. Once these have been computed, they can be drawn using the CV line function. This selected block of code accomplishes these two steps, that is, computing and drawing epipolar lines on the image on the right from the points in the image on the left. Standard vector with vector 3f is used to draw the left points corresponding epipolar lines in the right image. This selected for loop is used for all epipolar lines. Here, the selected CV line block of code is used to draw the line between the first and last column. Let's run our program in the console application. The epipolar lines of the left image are obtained in a similar way. You can see the line appeared in this image. Remember that the epipole of one image is at the intersection of all its epipolar lines. This one is the projection of the other camera's center. Note that the epipolar lines can intersect and often do outside of the image boundaries. In the case of our example, the epipole of the second image is at the location where the first camera would be visible if the two images were taken at the same instant. 
Note also that the results can be quite unstable when the fundamental matrix is computed from only seven matches. Indeed, substituting one match for another could lead to a significantly different set of epipolar lines.